Good evening and welcome to BBC News. Now, a mother and her partner who battered to death a four-year-old boy after subjecting him to months of starvation and cruelty have been found guilty of murder. Magdalena Luchak and Mariusz Kreselek will be sentenced tomorrow. Daniel Pelka was described as a gaunt, frightened little boy who'd gone through immense suffering, as our correspondent Sean Lloyd explains. Daniel Pelka, a bright four-year-old with a beaming smile. But six months after this picture was taken, Daniel was dead. The cruelty he suffered came at the hands of those who should have protected him. His mother, Magdalena Wuchak, and stepfather, Marius Krezelek. But it was 36 hours after he'd been beaten unconscious that Daniel's mother finally called 999. She's not really Okay, are you are you right by him now? Yes. Okay, just put your ear to his mouth and tell me, can you feel or hear any breathing? No, nothing. The court was shown disturbing images of the extent of Daniel's injuries. They show the fatal head wound. It was one of 30 injuries to his emaciated body. He weighed just one and a half stone when he died, barely the weight of an 18-month-old toddler. He was starved. He was beaten on a regular basis. He was imprisoned in a box room. Uh, he was drowned to a point of unconsciousness on occasion. And also he was poisoned with salt. So yes, an absolutely wretched existence for this little boy. Even at school, Daniel could not escape the misery or the hunger. His teachers saw him scavenging for food in bins. But Magdalena Wuchak had told them her son had an eating disorder, that he must not be fed. The family came to the attention of social workers a year before Daniel died when he was taken to hospital with a broken arm. There followed seven home visits by school and healthcare professionals. On five occasions, teachers noted Daniel stealing food and eating rubbish from bins. He even ate a pancake covered in grit off the floor. On three occasions, teachers recorded Daniel's visible injuries, a bump on the head, two black eyes and bruising around his neck that resembled finger pressure marks. CCTV pictures show Daniel being picked up from school. It was the last day he was seen alive. He was trailing behind his mother to the house where he would later be beaten unconscious and left in a box room to die. A series of texts underlined the level of cruelty that Daniel was facing. In one, his mother said, he's temporarily unconscious as I nearly drowned him. I'm having some quiet time. In another text, his stepfather says, take him to the room and lock him in you'll have some peace and do wait for me. Daniel's father, Eric Pelka, traveled from Poland to hear the shocking truth about how his son had been mistreated. I could not believe that they could do something like that to my son, like make him starve and uh, that kind of stuff. And uh, I felt anger, I just hate them. The court heard how Magdalena Wuchak and Marius Kreselek lied to hide their cruelty from social workers, doctors, health workers, teachers and the police. Daniel Pelka was just four years old when he died, beyond the reach of a system which could have protected him. What went wrong is now the focus of a serious case review. Sean Lloyd, BBC News, Birmingham Crown Court. David Cameron has been accused of...